In Division III basketball at Berkeley College, winning seems to be quite contagious. Recently, on the campus of the College of New Rochelle, the Berkeley College Knights men's basketball team won their second straight Hudson Valley Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Championship. This time, they defeated Vaughn College Warriors 90-70. By the way, the Knights have won the Hudson Valley Intercollegiate Athletic title eight times. Adding some extra polish to that season was last year's United States Collegiate Athletic Association Championship win. Joining me in the studio today are Keenan Langston, a senior guard at Berkeley College. Welcome. Thank you. Well, you you're familiar with Brooklyn, right? Because you were born yeah, right here. Yeah. Also, Junior Alessandro DeAngelis, a junior center on the night squad. Welcome. Hi. And you're from where? Italy. I, I come from Italy, yes. Oh, well, we got to talk about that. And also the head coach, Coach uh, Chris Christensen. Head coach, welcome. Good morning. Coach, I want to first talk to you about your formula for success. Okay. Because you've been here eight times. You won the, you won the uh, conference title eight times. You won the championship and the U.S. College Athletic Association mm -hmm. last year. Right. So you're defending. Right. right. Uh, I really have three different terms that I use for success. And the first one is hard work. Um, when we come to practice uh, and the gym doors are closed, we basically say, you're here to work hard, okay? With that, we use the word dedication, the idea that you're dedicated to come to your practices every night, you're dedicated to be on time, and you're there to dedicate yourself to the task at hand. Uh, the last one I use is sacrifice, that um, the sacrifices that you make today are going to ha have a tr tremendous uh, impact on you for the future. How do you guys fit into that formula? Well, you know, before I came to Berkeley College, I didn't really have those three things embedded in me. And, you know, when I met him, it was basically, you know, he told me the three things that we needed to succeed, which was his morals. And ever since then, it was just, like, embedded in me. And then when I look at the rest of the players, it just they just motivate me, and we all do the same thing. So. How about so? Yes. Coming from um, Italy also. Yeah, that's true. But these values are so important, not only on the basketball courts, but also, let's say, in real-life situation, in real-life experiences. And we know that if we put effort in that, even more than 100 percent, like our coaching staff say, tell us all the times, every practice, every night, we know that we're going to be successful not only in basketball, but life. So you generally. can apply those same yes. skills to everyday life situations. I, I want to talk about the court. You guys won 21 straight this season. How did you do that? Every day or every week, you know that the teams are coming to get you. You have the bullseye on your back and on your front, too, and the stars, especially yeah. your heart, because yeah. they're trying to take that every game. I, I really think it goes back to those same three concepts, again, that we preach. Um, but this year, I would say that for my first, for, for this year, for the first time in 20 years, I think this team has hunger. They are very hungry. And if you look at our games, you'll see that in the second half, our energy level just goes up so high because we know that we have to win the game. So I think we're very hungry, and I think that's the, the terminology. Because I would in use. the championship game, you came from behind. How'd you guys do that? Well, you know, we. We just went in the locker room in the, in the halftime, and, you know, we just talked about fighting through adversity. That's our main thing. Every day we fight through adversity in our lives, so we're used to it. And we just, you know, talked about how we're going to get back into the game and just, just play for one another and be a family as we are. And it worked out for us in the second half when we came back and, and won a game. Yeah, we, 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 we were down in the first half. And this happened a lot of times, actually, in the season, and we have most of the times we've been able to come back and fight for, for the win. And I think this is like what our team is all about, like never give up, go for the prize. And Perseverance. Yeah, so Perseverance. Like never satisfied. Basically coming from behind, that's your, I guess, it, 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 takes, it talks also about mental toughness because most teams, if they're down, eh, you know what, forget it, we'll come back next mm, week. And hopefully, not this team. Not this team. Not this team. It, it seems that when we're behind, they even play better. They, they want it, and they can see it, and um, it's just amazing. Uh, if you looked at our last game and you saw what we did in the last quarter, or last half, uh, I mean, we scored 54 points in the second half, um, and that's, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. 
Your arrival here, your arrival, how did you arrive here? Because you said you were in junior college, mm -hmm. right? You're from Brooklyn, you went to high school here. Yes. I went to William E. Grady first, and then I went to Brooklyn Academy. After that, I went to a junior college in California called Southwestern College. I played there for a year. It didn't really work out. Came back home. I met Coach Christensen, and, you know, he just, he just took it from there. He, he showed me that, you know, it was basketball. Then he helped me with school and focused on graduating, so. Oh, uh, I used to play in Italy, and that was my last high school here. I didn't know if I wanted to keep playing basketball. I had this one friend who was attending Berkeley College, and uh, she introduced me to Coach Christensen. And once I met him, I just decided I wanted to give him one more shot. You know, and, and people have, I guess, the illusion about D3 ball, and it's not competitive. It is very competitive, yeah. as far as you know, and you know. Yeah. Yes, sir. Explain that. Well, we play a lot of teams, you know. Um, for instance, we had a Division Three tournament, which I, one of my best memories, we played Richard Stockton University in New DeSales. New Jersey, right? Um, yes, mm -hmm. in DeSales, and it was like, it was a tough, tough tournament for us. Um, we went into two overtimes the first game, so D3 basketball is definitely, you know, it's tough. No matter what level you're on basketball, any sport period is, is tough. So offensively, coach, what type of offense do you run? You run a boxing one, you run a triangle. We what have so many different offensive sets. For me to tell you that, I would talk to you forever. And and the thing is that I don't want to tell you too much about that right now because we're going to a championship, and I don't want anybody to know. Right mm -hmm. now, next but, week you are the number one seed in yeah, the U.S. Yes, Collegiate sir. Athletic. We are the number one seed. Right. Yes, sir. How does that feel next year? Because last year you won it last year, so we did. But we we have never been the number one seed. And quite honestly, Michael, we have been the number one seed throughout the entire season in the USCAA. We have never moved from that. So it's a, it's a, it's a very big accomplishment for the team, and I also think it's a very big accomplishment for the school. Speaking of the school, I know it, it must be reverberating around the several campuses across Berkeley College, because you have three campuses here in the New York area. Yes, sir. In New York City, period. Mm -hmm. And then you have several in Jersey. Mm -hmm. So is it reverberating around it, it the is. whole uh, the different campuses? It is. It's all over the media. Um, and our last game that we played um, on Sunday for the Hudson Valley Championship, we actually had a uh, series of about 50 to 75 fans come from the, um, the Westchester campus. And uh, they were there to um, Root us on, so it, it's getting around, and it's it's very important to me because I've been doing this for 20 years, and and I really would like to see this really plummet even into the next level. Have you played the other schools in as far as the CUNY schools? Have you ever have you crossed rivalry against Brooklyn College, Mega Evers, those particular? We colleges? have um, years ago, but now our major focus is playing the teams in the USCAA and some NCAA Division Three. Uh, uh, tournaments, but we actually did play an NCAA Division II team. That was our first game. Uh, that was the game that we lost. That was your only loss. And what did you learn from that particular game? I, I want you guys to tell him. Yeah, uh, actually, if you ask me about what was my favorite game of the season, I would say that one, even if we lost, because we were down by 20 in the first half, yeah. and we still made it to come back and lost by five. And just play f to win that game. We just didn't give up, and that, that just built up our mentality, yeah. our winning mentality. Yeah. Um, I, that, that game right there was a big challenge for us. You know, Mercy College is a Division II school, but they have many Division I players playing there. So, you know, it was, it was a great experience playing against those guys. You know, as he said, we were down 20 points. And to come back against that school and only lose by five. It, and it they're home. At and their home. home. You know, and, and that's what I got to talk to you about. There's no home advantage, home court advantage mm. of this particular team. You practice perhaps at BMCC. We practice um, at Borough Manhattan Community College. And also um, at the Stuy Dome. And at certain times when we can't practice at BMCC, we will practice at the Stuy Dome in Brooklyn. Right. Matter of fact, i got to give big ups to uh, Eric Hicks of yes. the Stuy Dome of uh, yes. Game Over, mm -hmm. who told me all about you guys basically last year. So i got to give... Uh, He's a real gentleman. Right, right, real gentleman. Right. So those sacrifices of, of those practices, because you will know, practices at different times of the week, different times of the day because yeah. of the schedule, right? The conflicts well, or... What's great about us is that the guys that play on our team, they will go to school from 8 a.m. in the morning until basically 1.30 in the afternoon. Then they go to part-time jobs from maybe 2.30 to 7 or 7.30. And then they come to practice at 8.30 to 10 o'clock, to 10.30 
every night. So if you, you can foresee this, I mean, this is a, a very busy schedule every day. And it again goes back to that word that I gave you, sacrifice. These young men are making sacrifices for their future. And, and it also is it, uh, there's a degree of, of, of discipline and dedication, too, because you can't miss a beat. Yeah. No, they can't. Yeah. They can't. Yeah. And if they do, you know who's going to oh, be after them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That says a lot, because t to know that you're going to be traveling everywhere you go, not, not most of the time, but, you mm -hmm. know, you practice, you'll have a practice here, you have, you know, your, your practice somewhere else the next night is, you know, it takes a lot of discipline dedication oh, yes. and, and how our assistant coach John says you gotta love the process you gotta love to struggle to sacrifice mm -hmm. because that's the only way you can you're gonna be successful that's one thing I want to tell you um, and I really believe this you are only as good as the people that work for you right. and I happen to be extremely fortunate in having three assistant coaches that work unbelievably hard every day and I, I really think that that should be put, put into my formula for success because without them, I couldn't do this. I couldn't. And, and one other thing, I know I'm, I'm elaborating on the basic as far as you, you move from gym to gym, but that also applies on the court. But of course, you never know how that opponent is going to show up, so you guys are able to adapt and you're flexible in your approach. Well, many of our games, too, are travel games. Right. We travel all over the place. We travel to Pittsburgh, we travel to Pennsylvania, we travel upstate, we travel to um, New Hampshire. We're, we, we travel a lot. Next week, when does the tournament start? Um, next week, Monday we leave, so we don't play until Thursday, I believe, our first yes. game okay. of the tournament. So. Hey, what do you have over okay, there? Okay, my own. We wanted to say on behalf of Berkeley College, uh -huh. you know, we wanted to just give you a gift. Oh, thanks um, for you. We appreciate you oh, having us on the show you. today. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully, that's you nice. support us, Berkeley Take Pride. This out. Oh, that's <laughs> nice, isn't it? And watch okay. us on the on the USCAA we website, the folk, please. We also have the folks there in the back too, the fans, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> so we have that. It's great. Nice it's really jacket great. and a nice really jacket. Great. Oh man, this is nice great. Jacket. This is, oh Keep man, this is this is hot. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Good thank luck. you. Thanks, Mike. Right, thank you so much for thank your you time. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right, and also thank the people in the back too. <laughs> thank you.